Hi guys, my name is Josh and welcome back to Just Ginger Josh. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of just picking up a random pair of shoes and reviewing them, I am going to be doing a top five pairs of shoes that I think every guy should own. The first pair of shoes which I think everyone should own is a pair of running or sport shoes to go to the gym with. Second pair would be formal shoes. The third pair would be a pair of black sneakers or dark sneakers. Then very importantly, and probably my favorite pick out of all of these would be a pair of white leather sneakers. Now it's very important that they have to be leather and I'm going to get into that just now. The fifth pair would be your special pair of sneakers or something that you've always wanted to get like your grail. These would generally be your more expensive pair of shoes in your whole rotation. The first pair of shoes I think every guy should be owning is a sports shoe. Now this for me would be the Adidas Alpha Bounce and the reason why I chose these is because I can run in these and I can jump in these and that's the most important thing for me. Obviously depending on your lifestyle, I got other shoes here as this is something that I'm going to go trail running with or hiking with and I've got another pair of shoes here which I'm going to be playing golf in. It obviously depends on your lifestyle. Some people are going to be doing many more sports, so you obviously get what shoe fits best with that. And I just think it's very important to have a, a basic running shoe which you can go gymming with as everyone should be working out or working on your fitness somewhere or another. You don't necessarily need to go to the gym and pump iron three hours a day, but I do think mental health as well as physical health is very important. It's very important to you stay fit mentally and physically. Second pair of shoes, which I think is very important, is to have a formal shoe or a dress shoe. This is something which you are going to be wearing with suits or formal occasions as every guy needs a pair of these. They don't necessarily have to be a boot as I have here, but just some sort of dress shoe, which I just think is important to have. The third pair of shoes, which I think is very important, are a pair of black or dark shoes. This will be your sneaker which you're going to be wearing most days as it's a dark sneaker. It's very easy to keep clean. You don't need to worry about it too much. You can beat them um, as these are pretty dirty. I've, I've just worn these. I'm not too bothered about cleaning them or anything, but it's a shoe that you can wear and not have too much stress about. I've also got a pair of New Balance here, which you could also add to this. So these aren't necessarily black, but they're grey, it's a dark shoe. This is just to show that they don't have to be like a skate shoe, it can be any sort of shoe which is dark, just so that you have a dark sneaker in your rotation. The next pair of shoes, which I think is very important, if not the most important in your collection, is a white leather sneaker. The reason why I say that is because this is the type of shoe where because it's white leather, it's easy to keep clean. You just wipe it off and it's clean again. Simple as that. The other thing about a white leather sneaker is white is a very basic color which pops with most outfits. So 95% of the outfits you're going to be wearing, this will go well with that. And that's why I think it's very important to invest some money in a good pair of white leather sneakers. It's also going to look very good with most outfits. I mean, you can even wear these as semi-formal. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They're very versatile. I've got another pair of white leather sneakers here, which I want to show you. These are my Adidas Fur Labs. And these are something which I kind of just beat. I just wear them, I've worn them in. I'm not too fussed about them. That's just to show you a difference of different types of white leather sneakers they're both white they're both white leather but this one I've taken a bit more care with this funny enough I've had these way longer than I've had these for it just goes to show what the difference is when looking after your sneakers these are obviously a lot more casual so I'm not necessarily going to dress these up whereas these are definitely something that I would be dressing up but not these the fifth pair of sneakers, which I think is very important to your collection, 
would be your stand arm sneakers. Now this is something that you're not going to be wearing every single day. It's something that you want to wear every now and again or on a special occasion. This can be something like this, which is like out there, it's bonkers, like a different shoe that stands out to your average shoe. Another example that I've used, if you're not necessarily someone who likes bold and wild colors, maybe for you, you might like something more plain like this. This is also a very nice sneaker. This is a handmade in Italy Diodora. And I absolutely love these. And this is just another example. You don't necessarily need to get something that is out there and wild. It can be something that's maybe they've paid more attention to detail to the leather. So it's a better leather sneaker. It's got better suede. It's handcrafted. It's manufactured in a better factory, for example. So it might not necessarily need to be a very busy sneaker, but it can be a more upmarket sneaker. It can be something a bit more expensive for your liking. This is going to be the option where you're generally going to be spending a bit more money on this option but that is just a personal opinion you obviously don't need to this is where a lot of guys would go and get like a Yeezy or an off-white or something to that effect where this is their more expensive sneaker another thing is a boot so for me why I think a boot's very important is if it's cold and you get rain and you get snow we don't really get much snow in South Africa, but when it's raining and it's cold and it's miserable, these are generally the guys that I tend to go with. And that's just something which is going to depend on where you are in the world. You're not going to need a boot for everywhere where you stay, as a lot of places don't get as cold. And there you guys have it. These are five shoes, which I think is important for every guy's wardrobe or rotation. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to say, pop it down in the comment section below. Also guys, with this coronavirus going around, be safe, wash your hands, don't cough on people, don't let people cough on you. Yeah guys, be safe out there. If you guys would like to see a more detailed review of these shoes, any of them in particular, put it down in the comment section below and I will be sure to do that. Thanks for watching guys, cheers, bye.